Okay, you might be asking yourself, Zach, what is with all of these balloons? Well, let me tell you. We're standing in the newest art exhibit at Creative Pinellas in Largo called Dark Matter, which features two enormous sculptures made of thousands of different latex balloons. I've created an exhibition called Dark Matter, and it consists of two really massive sculptures made entirely of latex balloons. Also, there are 32 paintings, some extremely large, 12 by 15 feet, and then many others, six feet by five feet or five by four feet, uh, all different sizes. There's also over 50 drawings, which are process drawings that I've made over the years in order to develop and design installations of sculpture like you see here, and these will actually give folks kind of a perspective into the process of making work like this. The sculptures are designed such that people can actually sort of move around in between them, kind of duck under and get a perspective from inside that bubble, which um, I kind of talked a, lo a little bit about. Uh, and, and then you can leave one and enter into another and get a sense of what it's like inside there. But what you can't really do is see one from the other. You kind of have to get a perspective away from that or lay down on the floor, which is interesting. But the interesting thing about the balloons is, you know, first of all, as a single balloon, it's just an innocuous toy. But when you start to link them all together, they become something transformational, which, which points to us, again, as a society. You know, a single person can accomplish quite a bit, but together, we can accomplish nearly anything. And for instance, you know, one person is a singer, but a whole group of people is a choir. From the very first time I entered this place, I had all kinds of ideas of possible shows that could happen here. It's a remarkable place. If you haven't been to Creative Pinellas, be sure to get out here and check it out because it's, it's a gem of a space.